Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a basic introduction of Kali Linux. And right now, I'm um, logged into my um, Kali Linux uh, virtual machine. And the command uh, line tool that I'm going to be uh, talking about is the um, app gate. And this can be used to install uh, software packages. It can be used to remove software packages. So there's uh, many options that can be used with this tool. So to begin with, uh, the first option I'll cover is the, the app update option what the update option does is just uh, it retrieves any new list of uh, available software packages so we'll say sudo and then update and then we do update and then it's just gonna go uh, out and uh, grab any new list uh, a list of uh, any new available software packages uh, so once this this is done, you can do an upgrade. What the upgrade does, it's just gonna install um, the newest version of uh, all the packages for all the packages that you uh, currently have installed. So that will be sudo up git, and then we'll do an upgrade. And then it's gonna ask you if you want to, it's gonna tell you how much space, uh, disk space is needed. And then it's gonna ask you to confirm whether you actually wanna do the install. So I'm just gonna skip this for now. So in this case, you just press Y for N if you wanna do the uh, upgrade. I'm just gonna skip that, I'm gonna abort it. Okay, the next uh, option is to install. You can install a specific package by name. And here you have the option of saying uh, install. So we'll say sudo app get install then you have to list the package name so for example i will say let's say i want to install leafpad which is a text editor and it's gonna go out and grab it download it and install it now if you have software you're looking to remove that you no longer need you can use the remove option so let's say we want to remove the uh, software we just installed so to remove any packages you no, no longer need, you can use the remove option. So sudo up get remove and then the name of the software. And it's gonna ask if you, you wanna continue with the removal. Press Y and it's gonna remove it. Now, when you use the remove, all it does, it's, it's just gonna remove the package data, but it doesn't remove the user config files. In order to actually clean it out completely, you'll need to use the purge option. So you say sudo up get, and then you wanna say purge, and then the uh, name of your software here, if pad, and that removes any config files that you might, you might have. Next is if you wanna remove, automatically remove any unused packages, there's an option for that. You can use sudo up get, auto remove and this removes anything that you you have that's be, it's not being used that's unused anytime you download an, uh, a package you, have, you often download in, in form of uh, an archived or zip file and then that's uh, un, uh, extracted and then the software installed if you're looking to remove all those uh, archive files that are no longer needed you can use an option called clean so sudo up get clean now if you if you're looking to download a specific uh, package the current directory and then install it you can use the download option so sudo up get download let's say we are looking to download the uh, leaf pad again it's gonna download it and then when you do list, you'll see it right here. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove that. Pseudo. Lastly, I just wanted to show a command line tool that can allow you to search for extra software. Like if you're looking to search for software or tools for scanning or doing port scanning, there's an, a tool you can use. You can say sudo up search and then in, uh, in quotes you can put uh, like a search string for what you're looking the the name of the tools you're looking to search for in this case it's gonna go through and search for available 
port scanning tools and here you have a, a long list and then you can decide on if there's a tool you would like to install so like you have your pn scan for port scanning you can try and we can check if it's installed so we can do a pn scan dash edge for help and here it's just ask if you want to install it in this case you can just say yes and it's, it's going to go ahead and install it for you so that's so that's it for this video i hope this information has been useful thanks for watching bye